You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your General Hospital early edition weekly spoilers for the week of July 24th through 28th. I've got six big hot sizzling spoilers to tell you all about. If you haven't already though, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our GH updates. Digging in. It looks like somebody in Port Charles is dead meat next week, but maybe not somebody terribly important because I don't see anybody's lives at risk and all the spoilers are... They don't point to that, except for this one, and it's that Dex Heller makes a grisly discovery. Anytime they use wording like that, grisly discovery, it generally means a body. It's going to either be a body or somebody, you know, that seems dead, maybe somebody who's been beaten or maybe somebody who's had an overdose like Sasha. I don't know, but it sounds more like a dead body. And maybe this ties back to the recent uh, assassination attempt on either Sonny or Anna. As far as we know, that's who the shooter was aiming at. Maybe whoever hired the shooter isn't happy that they, they blew it. Maybe that's who they find. We will see. Then we have Ava Jerome coming clean to someone. What I hope, what I sincerely hope this is about, just because of other spoilers for the week, I hope that Ava goes to Sunny and says, look, I'm being leveraged. Here's the people that I know that are leveraging me. There's a mystery person I don't know about. They want information on you. They just all this stuff. Like, I don't think she would set up Austin necessarily, or she might say that Austin and I are being blackmailed. But with Ava coming clean, you know, maybe it's her telling Nina about it, but she really needs to be telling Sonny because this isn't her fault. And if Ava tells Sonny, look, this all started because I cracked Nick in the skull when he threatened Avery, because that'll be like Sonny going, okay, I would have cracked him in the skull too. And it's just been a slippery slope. And she doesn't want to spy on Sonny. She doesn't want to do that. So maybe, just maybe, she will do the smart thing and come clean to Sonny so he can dig into this and clean up this mess. We also see Portia trying to comfort someone next week. I wonder, I speculate, I think this is about Curtis maybe waking up and he's paralyzed, you know, to some extent. Hopefully not long term, hopefully temporarily, but I do feel like they're building up to a big dramatic storyline for Curtis. So maybe she's trying to comfort him and maybe he doesn't want comfort from her, you know. I'm sure he's going to be angry about being shot and being paralyzed if that is the way it plays out. We'll know more when we get the full weekly spoilers. We also have Gladys delivering bad news. I suspect the bad news is that Sasha's effort to get her conservatorship released failed. And that's, of course, because Gladys and shady Dr. Montague are drugging her so that Gladys can keep spending her money and gambling. She is like a junkie who is out of control and just ruining lives. And it's Sasha's life that she is ruining. And of course, Sasha is going to be devastated if the conservatorship is continued because she really wasn't a good place. But Gladys has ruined all that as usual. All right. Then we have Christina visiting Molly Lansing. I do think that Christina might go see Molly and make a formal offer of surrogacy and just say, look, if not now, later, but I feel for you and I'm willing to loan you an egg and let you rent out my uterus for 10 months, 40 weeks, by the way, pregnancy actually isn't nine months. It's 10 because it's 40 weeks if it goes full term. But maybe they're going to have a frank talk about infertility and whether she would be a viable surrogate because while TJ agreed that she definitely, that Christina likes to make things about herself, everything's the Christina show, he and Molly both also agreed that Christina kind of is an ideal choice because she shares some DNA with Molly and she's young, she's healthy because she got herself checked out recently. All right, we have one last huge 
early edition spoiler that we are so excited to share. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our GH news. And we'd love it if you clicked a like if you're enjoying these early spoilers. Super excited about this. Laura Spencer and Valentin Cassidyne are back on General Hospital late next week. It has been a full month since we have seen them. And I'm sure part of that was their summer vacay that they usually do. They are in Chechnya, Russia. They are on the hunt. They are trying to find this Cassadine property, and I'm certain they are going to find something or someone there. We did a standalone video on who are they going to find in Russia, because I feel like it's going to be a someone rather than a something. Of course, we could be wrong. No official spoilers out on that just yet, but if you want to see it, uh, check our General Hospital playlist or just the recent videos, and you'll see who do they find in Russia. We've got five different suggestions. Some are startling. Some are very exciting, and I really do hope it is an unexpected person that they find. One thing we do know for sure is who they will not find. They will not be finding Nicholas Cassadine, which is, Laura is hoping that, but it's not going to happen. He is being held hostage in Potok, last we saw, still in a coma, being held by creepy Mason Gatlin. So Laura is really hoping that Nick's hiding out there, but of course she's been lied to because Ava knows that he's not there. He is, you know, not dead, but close to dead and being held hostage. All right. Be sure and check back here later this week for full GH Weekly spoilers for the week of July 24th. And then two week spoilers, casting news, everything you need to know to get ready for next week. Thanks for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.